Angie. Oh, hey. So, hey, I dropped off and picked up those movies. Right, right. Was ist mit jedem los? Is everything okay? You don't seem your usual peppy self. You don't know me, Meredith, okay? This can be a stressful job. Okay. I know a thing or two about stressful jobs. I'll leave you be. Yeah, uh, actually, now's not a great time. There's two. If you could deliver those, that'd be peachy. Hmm. Jaws and the Dirty Dozen. Hmm. What machen wir? Das dreckige Dutzend. Weißer Hai und dreckiges Dutzend. Weiß nicht, die beste Kombi ist das nicht. Finde ich. Best not to mix these two up. Mhm, mm great. Thanks. Appreciate it. Bye. Ich hätte doch Optionen wählen sollen mit Verpiss dich. Schatz, noch eine Person zum Töten. Muss ein richtiges Kabelsalat sein. Ja, siehst du, dieses Spiel nutzt auch ein aus. Kenne ich aus meinem Real Life. Immer diese Ausnutzung. Töte Holzfäller. <lacht> Ich hätte Video von der Erde. Oh, eine Todesliste, wie geil. Also selbst der Autopilot hat keinen Blinker. Bin ich schade. Boah, und lässt den Wagen vor der Kanne dagegen fahren. Die Autopiloten haben sie wohl in Zünge geschissen. I need to know if you prefer a war movie or a shark movie. Huh? Movies? Uh, just pick something. I'm sure it'll be fine. What do we want to give him? The Weiße Hai or a dreckig Dutzend? Ja, ne? Dieses Kuchen, das ist eine hervorragende Sache. Bin ich auch. Also ich bin ja mit dreckigen Dutzend eigentlich, weil weißer Hai... Ja, A, dreckiges Dutzend, ja. Fine. Enjoy the dirty dozen, Bert. Have a nice day. Wisst ihr, dieses Kuchen hat auch zwei gesagt. Das finde ich super gut. Weiß nicht, er als Angler da draußen, weißt du, guckt sich weißen Hai an. <lacht> das könnte böse in die Hose gehen. So, dann fahren wir jetzt zurück zum Postern. Kurve, du. Ja, 
Also Kurve fahren haben sie dem Autopiloten nicht gut beigebracht bei der Stelle. Hüpfkurve, ja. Deswegen... Jo, mach das, Deus Kurve, mach das. Wärm dich schon mal auf. <lacht> Ach komm, Autopilot, lass das mal sein. Lass, lass mich mal fahren. Guck mal ja in zehn Jahren nicht an. Jetzt wärmst du dich auf und dann kommen wir dazu. The Countess and the Carpenter. Chapter 3. Come in with the most regretted words. Oder jetzt nicht auswählen. Sie hat in ein They were instantly followed up by Get out! When she saw the surprised face of the Carpenter's apprentice. Instead of her niece, Anna. Apparently, her hosts wasted no time in addressing the problem of a malfunctioning bathroom faucet. Oh, jetzt hängt die doch dran. Das will ich jetzt auch wissen, Dios Kuh. Was heißt hier? Oh nein. I completely got what you just said and I'm coming up. It's that third step, right? I'm surprised no one's fixed it in all these years. <lacht> So glad you made it. Isn't it nice up here? It's a bit different from how I remember it. I can't explain. Maybe it's just been too long. Or maybe it's me. Give it time. So what do you remember? Those times I came up here by myself at night when the stars were so serene. Yeah, I've had many of those nights too. Still have them, in fact. Hey, remember when I snuck in those beers from Uncle Stan? And they were really disgusting, and you puked all over the rail? In fact, wasn't it kind of where you're standing right now? Oh my gosh, it totally was. Oh, 
Did you have to bring that up again? I was not counting on getting that much in touch with my younger self. <laughs> I'm glad you're back. I kind of missed having you around. So much has happened since then. Maybe. So, what's life been like for you since you left? Positives? Negatives? You know, I went to university, got a job. I basically worked my butt off the entire time. That's both positive and negative, I guess. Oof. That doesn't sound like a sustainable life plan there. You okay? Yeah, it just... It gets a bit busy sometimes. Hmm. I can imagine Providence Oaks is less... complicated. Well... Maybe it is, and maybe it isn't. Ooh, that sounds juicy. Is this about something or someone? We can have these adult conversations now. Oh, there she goes with the crazy eyes. M still stands for mind your own beeswax, I see. <laughs> all right, all right, I'm backing off. What about you? How have you been? I mean, really? Really, really? It's been great and it's been tough, you know. I guess it's like that for everyone. I mean, I wanted to go to art school, yes, but turns out I wasn't good enough, or at least that's what they told me when I applied. So I decided to stay and do my own thing, make music, perform and stuff, you know. I picked up some shifts at the diner, Barry and I reconnected, got married, and then Max came along. You haven't met him yet, have you? He turns 13 in a few months. Time flies. Anyway, having Max gave things a different rhythm, but I still continued with my music. Even managed to get a bit of a buzz going in Portland, lined up a few interesting gigs. Tough to balance, but fun. That sounds exciting! Yeah, just like that, Uncle Stan got sick. Hit him and Aunt Mo like a ton of bricks. It was crushing. There I was, just about to get somewhere with my music, but I just couldn't let them down. So I stayed, helped out nursing Uncle Stan, picked up his ships at the diner. Sounds like you really stepped up. Well, in hindsight, it was a lot. In the moment, though, you don't stop to think. You just do it. Where was Barry in all this? Barry was actually really great. We divided tasks back at the house, and he took care of Uncle Stan when he could. No questions asked. He was just there. And now you still work at the diner? Well, Mo has offered a couple of times to put my name above the door at the diner. Up until now, it felt like too much too soon too definitive but i don't know maybe if she asks again i'll think about it the way things ended up it may not have been part of my master plan but i got to spend some of the most precious moments of my life with the most precious people i've got to say goodbye to uncle stan and be there for mo they basically raised me I'm grateful I got to do that for them. And I built a family of my own, right here in good old P.O. And one day, those kids will hurl all over this rail, just like we did. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's been tough, but looking back, I wouldn't trade any of it for the world. so great, Kay. I'm glad at least one of us grew up to be a well-rounded individual. Is there a manual I can borrow? Well, after you left, I had to raise myself, didn't I? <sighs> so, ready to descend to the world below? Nah, I think I'll stick around. Enjoy the view some more. <laughs> 
the view from the top of the ivory tower. Be careful not to get too used to it, young lady. Hmm. Okay. Thanks for the invite. Just try to cut down the word count on the answering machine next time, would you? Oh, you better buy yourself some new tapes for your machine, Weiss. Just kidding. <laughs> you know how I get when I get nervous. Thanks for joining, Em. This was good. Fast jeden Abend, jeden Abend irgendwie was, ne? Hallo? You're speaking to Monster Deal Central. How may I help you? I'm sorry. I'm not interested in telemarketing. Meredith, silly. It's me, Steve. Please, tell me to calm down. We are so close to a deal. Add it 87. In shops all across America. M -m 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 Monster Deal. Calm down, Steve. Okay, okay. I met up with this big retailer. <coughs> they, they read the pitch. They loved it. And they want to buy 150,000 copies of Added 87. Nee, ich mag Steve auch nicht. 150,000. Multiply that by like 35 bucks. That's a lot. But it's not a done deal yet, right? Not yet, but oh, oh, so close. I can almost taste it. Listen, I've got the contract right here. I'm sending over a copy. You should have it tomorrow. Could you please check it? I really hope I can depend on you this time. I want your blessings before I sign on the dotted line, okay? I'll see what I can do, Steve. Awesome. I'll be in touch again Tuesday evening. I'm so excited. And I just can't hide it. The Countess and the Carpenter. Chapter 4. No one screws better than the Carpenter's Apprentice. As Mr. Nabenshu acted like he was an expert on the topic. What he's done back there is nothing short of astounding. I'd hire him for any job and I'd pay good money for it. I never expected that the fence he repaired would survive last night's storm. <laughs> so good. Yeah. Oh, Steve's parcel. And another note from Tess. Hey, Em, here are Steve's contracts. I bet you're in the mood for some light reading. And now without sarcasm, really, I must admit the energy here is contagious. Is that it actually going to take off? See you soon. Tess. Good morning, Miss Weiss. Uh, good morning, sir. I didn't see you there. The name's Walter Morgan. I'm with the Postal Service. I left you a message on your answering machine earlier this week. Yes, I remember. Miss Weiss, if you could follow me into the office, I'd like to ask you a few questions. Uh-oh. Are you familiar with the Postal Service policies? Uh... To be honest, no. It says in Chapter 11, Section 3, First Paragraph, and I'll paraphrase, it is forbidden to use Postal Service property for personal gain. Oh, okay, sounds reasonable. Miss Weiss, I'm aware that you've only just begun working here, but I trust that you do not take the responsibilities of a postal worker lightly. Bestimmt diese Videoboxen. No, of course. I mean, uh, yes, sir. The Postal Service puts its employees under the highest level of scrutiny. I advise you to answer the following three questions truthfully. A yes or no will suffice. Do you know Frank Coleman? Wir waren jetzt Frank Coleman. Uh, ja. Yes? Have you ever given him envelopes or received envelopes from him that weren't postmarked? What's the DJ? Von dem habe ich aber nichts bekommen. Ja, ja das 
Ja, zu Frank und es geht ja um Frank. Aber Frank hat mir ja nie was gegeben. Ja, kann gut sein. Yes. Are you aware that Frank Coleman wages bets on baseball games? Ja, als ich mit Dad telefoniert hatte, ja. Aber das ist, ja, Baseballwetten, ja, ne? Es ging um Baseball, es hieß nur, dass es um Baseball ging. Und dass, mein, dass der Vater ihm ja geholfen hat. Hm. Interessant. Sehr interessant. Ah, da kann, die kommt noch mehr. Aber oh, Leute, das machen wir erst nächste Woche. <lacht> Auch wenn ich gerne wüsste, wie es weitergeht. Aber das machen wir erst nächste Woche weiter. Von daher hoffe ich, es hat euch gefallen. Und dann wünsche ich euch allen noch einen schönen Abend. Kommt mir gut in die neue Woche. Denn ich bin erstmal raus für heute. Ciao, tschüss und bye, bye.